Hello, everyone. To get to the comments, I just click show. If you'll hold on for just a second, I'm trying to get live here and it's not allowing me. There we are. Yeah. All right. How are you guys this evening? I don't know about you. I'm very happy it's Thursday. I say that every Thursday. It's a great thought for Thursday kind of evening. This week was a little bit crazy. Thursday is hitting a little different today, I must admit. <laughs> I'm giving just a second to make sure everything is live and connected. I'm real happy to see you guys today. And I uh, hope that you've had a wonderful week. Welcome to Thought for Thursday Live. Yes, we are live. So today I posted a blog article about there being more. About there being more, ladies. Hey, I see folks coming in over on Instagram. Great to see you. Thanks for joining. So there's more. You know, and I talked about a song that I heard yesterday that said, we're still here. So obviously there's still more. And it really has had me thinking. So what more is there? There's more for us to do. Um, there's more for us to explore. There's more for us to see. You know, that leaves a lot when we say more. But it also had me thinking about what are some of the things that we aren't doing or, you know, exactly what have we not thought about that perhaps we need to give more thought to? And in the blog also today, I talked about the book that was written a few months ago, Reinvent and Rise, or that was published a few months ago where I'm a visionary author on that book, or I'm the visionary author behind the book, and I have 14 wonderful authors in there with me, and they talk about their stories of reinvention. And just to let you know, I kind of share the first or the introduction to the book. And I talk about the fact that for a very long time, I was used to kind of just treading through life and just kind of holding on and keeping things status quo until I hit the realization that really there was more for me and more that I could do. And then I had to sit back and do a deep dive to find out why I wasn't pursuing that more. Well, I often tell the story. I did the work I did the deep dive. I found out the things that were limiting me. I found out the things that um, I had been holding on to for a very long time. And I learned that I had to get over those things and to let go of them. And I needed support in doing that. But I did do it. And for that reason, I was able to reinvent and pursue some of the things that I am doing now. And I'm excited about other things that I have been released to pursue. And I say released, why? Because truly when you get to the point where you realize that you have been hindered by something for a long time and you finally work to get over that thing or you finally work to 
make strides to get past it, you are relieved. And the release that you feel is unexplainable. It really is inexplainable. So for that reason, I wanted to come on tonight to find out from you, what are some of the things that are holding you back? And I'm live here on uh, on Facebook and also over on Instagram, saying hello to everybody over there. I see Melissa has joined us. And I just want to find out from you, what is holding you back? You know, I could tell you about research that's been done. And I did hint in some of the posts today that I'll tell you what statistics and what major surveys have said about what holds women back, particularly women at our age. Um, And I say our age because I frequently speak to who I call the risers, and that's women 45 plus who are determined to put in the work that's needed to get to the life that they desire to have. But what are some of those things that are holding us back from reaching for more, for reaching for greater? And although this this thing that I'm getting ready to tell you about now has really been talked about as being something for us primers, something that holds us back, I think we can confidently say it is something that holds us back as women, period. And those two things are confidence and self-worth. They're things that we struggle with all the time, and they're things that frequently keep us from moving from where we are and getting to the place where we can make changes, where we can reinvent, where we can go after a life that is more fulfilled. So I'm sure as I'm saying this, it really doesn't come as a surprise to many because I would venture to say that at some point we've all dealt with those issues. At some point we continue, or at this point, we continue still to deal with them either frequently or from time to time. At any rate, we can all use some support in getting past them. So what are some of the signs? What are some of the things that we do that indicate that we're really kind of pushing back or pulling back because we don't feel confident or because we don't feel the self-worth that we really have? And there are a couple of things that I can mention right away. One is we hide behind others or we hide behind people because we don't feel confident enough to go ahead and put ourselves out there. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, I know that I've done that in the past and I know that I still occasionally do that. So what I'm speaking to you about isn't something that I'm just kind of hypothesizing on or just kind of putting out there. Trust me, I know where I, where you are because I'm right there with you. It's something that we all struggle with, but it's also something that we can get past. And I'll talk about that in just a second. I'll give you a few more examples of things that I know are holding us back. We feel that we are suffering or we are falling up under an imposter syndrome. We feel that we really don't know what it is that we do know, either because someone has not understood us or because we failed when trying to present our information to someone else or trying to counsel someone else or trying to basically do a job or help a family member. Somewhere along the line, we have been challenged in what we honestly know in our heart of hearts, what we've learned over time, what we've experienced, But somewhere along the way, somebody has disagreed with us or has told us that we don't know enough or we have in some way felt that we haven't been able to deliver things to the level at which we want to deliver them. And that falls into some of that perfectionism as well. That's another reason or that is another indication of a confidence issue. We really are capable of doing the things that we know that we can do. However, we kind of shy back because we don't want to, because we fear rejection or we fear that somebody's gonna find us out for who we are and who we are are exactly who we're trying to depict ourselves to be. Another 
um, indication that we're suffering from confidence issues is we refuse to do the thing that we were told we weren't good at. We refuse to do that thing because someone has spoken over us. It could be something from childhood. And I said that even last week, but somebody somewhere along the way, we have been convinced that we are not capable of doing something. And for that reason, we don't have confidence to do whatever that thing is. And it really has kind of spilled over into life period. How if we fail when we try to reinvent? How if we don't uh, master the things that uh, we set out to master? Those are all things that are definite signs that we're dealing with confidence issues, we're dealing with self-worth issues, and those are the things that are holding us back. They're holding us back from getting to the more that I was talking about. They're holding us back from pursuing the reinvention that really is going to bring about the life that we desire to have, the life where we no longer feel as though we're just moving through the day to get it over with and done, or we're no, or we no longer have to sit up under a, a position that we don't want to do, or uh, sit in a relationship that we don't really want or one that we know is not benefiting us. A way, it's all an indication that we're pulling back from going ahead and pursuing what we truly desire in our heart of hearts and somewhere down in there really know that we're worthy of and we're scared to take a chance on ourselves. So how do we get past some of these things now that I've told you what some of the things are that are holding us back? It's time to switch gears and choose, number one, would be to make sure that you're around or you're in an environment where positivity is spoken over you at all times. Shy away from that person or that group that has been telling you for so long that you're not capable of doing something, that you may have been held back from childhood. You've really got to start to filter the voices that speak to you so that when you hear things that are positive and they come through your eardrums and settle on your heart, which is the platform that I talk about, we use for reinvention and for change. When you hear it and it speaks to your heart, you'll start to believe it and you'll start to get that ingrained in your soul so that you will know that you're able to do more and you don't need to suffer from imposter syndrome or hide behind others for efforts that you can put forth. What is something else that you can do? You can get with someone to actively work on the things that you need, on those areas where you know you are suffering some type of deficiency. What do I mean? Work with someone who can help you with confidence. Work with someone who is able to break through those barriers that you're dealing with. Don't feel like you, if you can't get past something, then there's something wrong and there is no way to go ahead and advance. There are people who can help you. There are programs that can help you. There are uh, support groups. There are just a plethora of areas, a plethora of things that are available to you to go ahead and pull you from that stuck place and get your heart and your mind and the right perspective to go ahead and move forward. The other things that you can do, if that negative belief, no matter what, still wants to cloud your mind and still wants to take over how you're moving and in what you're doing, you need to be prepared. Even if you write them down, you need to have instances, circumstances that, have, that can dispel those things, call them out for the lies that they are and help you to move forward. So that when you hear that negative voice telling you, for example, I will never be anything, you can go back and pull, well, that's not true 
because just a few weeks ago, I successfully delivered a presentation that was able to save the company millions. You can go back to, I successfully uh, co-parent in the PTA meetings and I have helped the school and the children to develop a sense of value for their community. You need to go back and look at those things and we all have things that we have done successfully. We need to go back and look at those things pull them in and be able to go ahead and hit them up against those negative things that are coming and trying to infiltrate our mind. It may be something that you have to do frequently. And if those negative voices are really, really hounding you like they always, like they frequently do, then you may just have to be in the habit of playing badminton with them. As soon as they bat them over your way, you have to instantly, as if it's a reflex, be able to point something right back at it so that your ears hear, your heart hears, and you're able to move forward in another direction. All right? So I, as I promise, every Thought for Thursday, I promise if you give me just 15 minutes, I'll give you some help on something that is hindering us and give you some tools for getting past some of those things that are holding us back. And we're at 15 minutes. Thank you so much for joining me here. But before I let you go, I want to say to you, as I did in the blog today, and as I did in my social media posts, for those of you who know that more is out there and you are not pursuing it, or you don't know how to pursue it, for those of you who want to finally get the confidence and feel that self-worth that has been hidden under a black veil for so long that you feel as though you have no ability to get out of the valley, to get out of the rut. You don't even know where to begin if we talk about reinvention because you're so clouded under these things that are just holding you down. And as I mentioned, there are things that are definitely not uncommon to women, uncommon to people, period. You are not in the boat alone, first of all. So don't feel as though there's something wrong because you deal with these things. I want to talk to you. I understand where you are. I've been where you are. And I know that I am able to help you to get past that rut. Let's just have a conversation shoot me a note in the DM, even as I'm speaking right now, or send me something later on this evening. I constantly check. I'm always on social media. You may think about it for a while, even if you don't want to respond right now. Just get in touch with me and let's get a conversation started so that we can, we can at least talk about what's available and what we're able to do to get you to where you're feeling like your life is fulfilled, more fulfilled, where you're feeling as though you are getting the quality of life that you have been desiring for quite some time. Because ladies, it's possible. And I know that you can do it. And I know that I'm able to help you. So please, let's have a conversation. Let's just talk. All right. Well, as I say, Every time I come on live, I pray for you. I pray consistently over what it is I'm supposed to talk to you about. And I believe that what I have and what I'm telling you about are definitely things that we need some help in and areas that we need encouragement. So I pray that you will go out and live confidently and authentically as your true self, because we need what you have. There's nobody out there who can be a better you than you, and you bring value. So don't short yourself and don't short the world because the world is waiting for the value that you bring. All right. That's it. Everyone go out and have a great evening. Remember, reach out and I promise I'll get back to you and we can make some strides and start making some headway on the things that you need to do. All right. That's it. Have a great one.